What's the dumbest trend in gaming? I'm not talking about the worst trends, you know, that'd be stuff like uh, crypto, loot boxes, day one patches that add in predatory microtransactions, working conditions. I mean the trends that are just straight up dumb. I mean full motion video. When games made the transition to CD hardware, developers suddenly found themselves with way more space on their hands than they knew what to do with. Some titles took advantage of the format to take on huge scopes, some took massive leaps in sound and visuals, others... Uh, uh, hey, you want some peanut butter on that jam? jam? Make My Video was a trilogy of games in 1992 produced by Digital Pictures that featured some of the hottest stars of the day. Who wants to make a music video? <laughs> Who owns a Sega CD? Uh, well, you like In Excess, don't you? Yeah, it's a cool band. I like them. We open in a pool bar, I think. Yeah, so despite the CD format allowing for live-action video, they still had to fit, like, a game on here? So the footage in games like these is always compressed into this crunchy, slushy mess and crammed into a border because they couldn't even stretch this to fit the aspect ratio. Check out those surfer guys. They've been trying to think of a pickup line for 45 minutes. And that Twine Dexter. He's been trying to get up his courage since yesterday. How about some Megadeth? He's sick of pretty boy. House rules, you gotta control the table to pick the music. And we're playing till somebody out there makes the ultimate in excess video. That's a very specific demand. Okay, so our first option is this ripoff of Bill and Ted without Bill. I mean, it's awesome, but it can be more awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah? Would you trust these guys? Next is Poindexter. Did you women know that pool was developed in France in the mid-15th century? You're blocking the video. You make a better door than a window. And a better door mat than a door. Uh, most people don't know that the video age began long before MTV. In fact, I'm quite a devotee of the music video art form. I can do better than that, with your help. If you can do better than that, I'll show up in a whipped cream bikini. Are you crazy? Do you realize what you just said? What do you think? Should I be worried? Sick of this video! I want to watch Megadeth now! Yeah, this video is trash. We could do better than that with our eyes closed. Which is obviously the way you dress. Yeah, who the fuck wears hats, you freaks? This last one is The Fly. Nah, just kidding. He's a cool guy. Like me. So, you like the video? I guess. You mean you don't like it? Is that what you think? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Mr. Cool, give us your gems of wisdom. Tell us how you'd make it. What do you think? But even better, what do you think? If you fail to select anyone, you get a scene of... Whoa, what's, go what's going on here? You're just a big tease, aren't you? I hate a tease. What is that? Is that a dumbbell? I thought you were gonna go the distance. I guess not. Rubber chicken? If I were you, I'd go back to the beginning and try Not again. the slinky! Once you select a character, you're taken to the actual gameplay, which is just a linear editing program? If you aren't aware, linear editing is essentially video editing that is destructive. You can pause and cut, but once a cut is made, it's final, because you're literally cutting film. Nowadays, we use non-linear editing software, which lets you go backwards or forwards and make adjustments without relying on physical film. 
while Make My Video isn't exactly linear editing, it functions in basically the same way. While the song plays, you're given a selection of three video tracks to cut between using the face buttons. On the side is a list of effects you can toggle on and off, and you're free to pause but not rewind. At the end, you're left with a complete video. I've found comments online from people who found these games confusing, but I can't really agree. Uh, now Worthwhile is a different story. There isn't much of a game here. The different clients you work with will give you requirements to meet for your video, thus the title, and whether or not you meet those requirements determines which cutscene you get afterwards. For instance, failing will get you something like this. Okay, demonstration time, dudes and dudettes. All right, now this is good form, all right? Now this is so cool, and this is what you do! Oh, 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 dude. <laughs> and winning will get you... Uh, I, I couldn't win at this one. I couldn't get any of the good endings. It seems really arbitrary and vague? Like, let's take one I might have an interest in winning, like... Uh, so the requirements are just... Uh, ...sent to give you images so compelling you'll break through the veil of unknowing and unite with me in bliss. Give me images to conjure dreams by. Give me images of grace and beauty. Give me a special effect! A slow step! What the fuck does that mean? So the game just serves you shots to look for? Okay, a foot? Uh, wh what is, what is the Concert? This guy? Tar? Okay. Well, how is it? It wasn't very good. It wasn't very good! Do I still have to give up guys for a whole year? Did I... win? Because, I mean, there was that scene of the surfer guy wiping out, so I figured that was like a... like he failed. But there's also this other cutscene where he gets... So is that the losing one? You know, maybe the gameplay doesn't really matter. What really matters... is the cinema. So what do you say we go beat up some ninth graders? This is ridiculous. Usually I can get laid off of one YouTube video. These girls' standards are just impossible. Let's move on to an artist that'll really get me some tail. It's crisscross time! It's the Make My Video Show, starring the top top of hip-hop, the Pac-Man who ain't no white man. Hey, what the fuck? You are not allowed to play this game if you are white. Make My Video Crisscross is an integral and sacred part of the black experience. <laughs> Good thing I'm black. Don't tell anyone I'm not actually black, okay? It'll be our little secret. So the framing device for this one is that a radio host gets calls from listeners who request certain videos. Hooked up and chilling in the control room away your scenario for the miggity 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 mac daddy and the diggity 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 daddy mac crisscross. How much you want to bet a white person wrote this? Uh, let's see. Ken Melville? And there it is. We get more clients in this one, but each of them have a song pre-selected. I guess it's less footage to record, because there is only one actor, this guy, and everyone else is ADR'd in. Hmm. Let's see what Jerome has to say. Who this? Hey, boy, Packer. What up, man? Some? <laughs> well, who's that woman? You got your crew back there or something? Yeah, yeah. This here Jerome, and we want to ask you. You related to that Woody Woodpecker? Hey, watch out then, now. You gonna do this or what, you little Coca-Cola sucking, undersized oh, sneaker puppet no, truck? Right. You wanna end up like Boyhead here? What's the song, fool? You'll notice that the three video tracks you're given are the same across every song, every game. One is the original video, and two are public domain footage from old movies and cartoons that they reuse all the time. They had so much that there's a random segment in this game where 
they just dub over old movies? What a ripoff! Sucked! And all your fault! Oh, no way! Director was lousy! You call that a video? So much for the theory of evolution! Devo was right! Uh, I guess I didn't win? Oh, you know my tag, gangsta. Ding 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 diggy ding ding t Who that? Hey, soul brother! It's your buddy, Norman! 5-0, man. You definitely 5-0, man. I can smell it right through the phone. Oh, no. I'm not with the police or anything. I'm actually a computer programmer. See, I knew I smelled something. Well, I'd like to see everything that's on this screen. That'd be super. Hey, make my video. Okay, so Norman wants some specific shots in the video, which include this, this, and... What is this? Hey, and hurry up with it so we can get his leave it to beaver, big wheel mud pulling, country music listening, hockey playing butt out of here. Uh, let me just put in some of this, uh, some of that. Yeah, kids love the pixels. What a ripoff! Suck! Does that mean I lost? I've never played a game where one of the biggest problems was how vague winning is. Uh, let's try someone else. Who's Carl? Who this? Pardon? <laughs> Who that? Are you talking to me? It's hard to hear. You sound <laughs> far away. <laughs> oh, it's Carl! I don't need to know who Carl is. My daddy dribbling the ball between his legs upside down. And something else, too. Well, lay it on me, partner. I'm gonna whisper it. I was happy. Boy, you gonna get me thrown off the air, you little nappy-headed little record-scratching fool. <laughs> I, uh... I gotta go take a shower. Whew, well, now that I'm clean of both grime and racial discomfort, what do we have left? None other than Make My Video, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Kills a motto for you get on their plates so you don't get to feel the <sighs> He's so cute. You're such a perv. This guy is a serious musician. This video should be tough. It's too sexy for a shirt. Girls, can't live with them? And shoot them. What the fuck? Make my video. Make my video. What is ha What the fuck is happening? <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Let's ask someone else what they would do. Okay, so... Same setup as before, but a little more off the wall. Pick this guy. He'll be great. Yeah, it just it doesn't look like comedy. It just looks like weird song. Be honest. I know you like it hotter. I say tough. Gee, I don't know. I kind of like the girl with the lips and make them real red. I like red. Yeah. And find these shots. Oh yeah, this shot. Make, make my, 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 my video, skate. Now, find a new rival. What are you doing? Don't you want to see the new Mark and Mark video? Definitely. What did she forget? You dropped your left. You didn't move fast enough, and you left with your chin. And you. Guess I lost. So what'd you think? Was it the marquee of your dreams? After all that is said and done, I guess it really doesn't matter what I think. It's how the player feels about herself. What do you think? Pleased with yourself? Let's give him some options. Okay. You can try the same and take another crack at it. Or you can just sit there at the TV and drool and go back to the beginning. Or quit. Whoa, let's, let's slow down here. Let's, uh, let's get away from that. Come on. Don't you want to ask some real Marky Mark experts? No, there's no way I'm going in there. <gasps> A man? What's a man doing in here? <sighs> that's no man. Actually, Luann, that's my sister, Emily. She's only been out for a little less than a year, and still isn't comfortable presenting as a woman, especially around our parents. I don't believe that you misgendering her was intentional, and I know many people in our community still aren't familiar with LGBT issues, but it would be polite if you could refer to her by her preferred gender. She's struggling a lot to find her identity, and 
I'd like her to have as much support as possible. That's my brother. Uh, uh, just keep him out of here. <sighs> Make, make my, 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 my video skate. Peace. I'm out like shout. Yeah, this is the only game in the series that actually got the artists themselves to appear. What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? I always have to tell you what I think first. You tell me what you think. It's your turn. I told you last time. You first. Well, good. I thought I was good too. Me too. It, it was, was good. good. Oh shit, I won one! Alright ladies, who's first? What the hell? <sighs> Guess I do another one. The video was fat. The video was fat. Why are we asking these bambozos? They're idiots! Excuse me? These are close, personal friends of mine. I rest my case. Well, what are they asking for? They want to know what we would put in and take out of the video. Okay. It's him! How about some shots of street musicians? Yeah! More street musicians! And some people getting money, maybe? Man, could you imagine how cool it would be if you found a whole bunch of cash? I mean, if you're, like, exploring a cave or something? Oh, man, we could buy some great equipment. Cut some of that stuff or Marky's all blown up on the wall. I mean, ego, dude. Okay. 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 Oh, I got another one. All right, boys, you'll just have to do. Damn. Make My Video was lambasted when they came out in 1992 and is one of, if not the only game to receive a zero out of 100 from Game Informer. Is it? that bad? I wouldn't call it offensively bad, but it is very much a novelty. Definitely not worth the asking price of a Genesis, the CD add-on, and the game itself. I guess it had insta-switch technology, which does load scenes faster than Psycho Killer. Sugar, it's him! Eat my Reeboks, freak face. <laughs> the name Digital Pictures might ring some bells with you. After all, they were the foremost pushers of FMV games in the 90s. And one glance at their Wikipedia page will show you... Wait, what? What is this, a cancelled console? Unreleased video game console developed by... Who the fuck is Tom Zito? Let's rewind back to 1985. Tom Zito is the apparent creator of a project codenamed Nemo, a VHS-based game console. This is two years before the NES would revitalize the American console market, and he was supported by none other than Nolan Bushnell, creator of Atari and Chuck E. Cheese. I guess he wanted to get back into games after the crash? Also, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple? Their main partnership became Hasbro, who invested seven million dollars in exchange for the rights to the technology. This would not last long, however, as Hasbro soon realized that the retail cost of the system would be $2.99, around $6.50 adjusted for inflation. Zito bought the rights back and shoved everything in the warehouse for a few years. Perhaps they would be doomed to languish in storage until they rotted, but sometime after 1990, Zito would receive a call from none other than Sega. They were looking to extend the life of their flagship system, the Genesis, by developing a CD-based add-on. The Sega CD. Crazy name, I know. Zito dug up all the materials from Project Nemo and picked out some demos they'd made to flesh out into full games. One of these would become Sewer Shark. The other, originally titled Scene of the Crime, was reimagined as Night Trap. 
Night Trap was a pretty big deal when it came out in 1992, the same year as Make My Video. Looking back on it now, there's nothing really offensive about it, but senators like Joseph Lieberman would claim all sorts of insane crimes that it committed against the public. Mainly the sexualization and violence against women? I mean, yeah, they're showing some skin, but you gotta be pretty desperate to get some use out of this. Also, all the violence is only implied. It's never really shown. Everything's quite tame, actually. Nevertheless, this game became part of the infamous 1993 Senate hearing that eventually resulted in the ESRB being formed. Do you think it's uh, even appropriate for you to be pushing that stuff out there for adult audiences to use? I mean, uh, it's... Well, I, I think it's, a, it's with appropriate. the way in which the, the woman is attacked. I mean, clearly it, she's dressed provocatively. She's uh, uh, brutally attacked by the uh, people dressed in dark clothes there. Is that... This is the most publicity that digital pictures and FMV in general would get. Only a few years later, in 1996, they'd go out of business. Before that, however, we'd get a fascinating interview with Zito himself in the October 1995 issue of Next Generation magazine. I've never read an interview that felt so much like a battle between interviewer and interviewee. The writer for Next Generation knows that digital pictures and the FMV trend were on their last legs, and most people had wisened up to the fact that it was not much more than a gimmick. FMV's got a terrible reputation, right? Right, but we've done some really interesting focus groups with gamers. You could say to somebody that we're going to give them a really great FMV video game to play. They say, so what? I don't want to see it. Full motion video stinks. But if you don't set out that way, and instead simply show them a good product like Supreme Warrior, interestingly enough, they say, this is an interesting video game. And man, the graphics are awesome. That's what they talk about, the graphics. It's better than Doom, because they're real people. If you look at Maximum Surge, does the experience of playing that game change because you find yourself in a battle with Yasmin Bleef? the game's lead character and star of TV's Baywatch? I think it does. If you look at Quarterback Attack, Digital Pictures' forthcoming football game, there's no way, in my opinion, that even the best computer graphics or the best polygon rendering capabilities could do the same job of really simulating what it feels like to be down on a line of scrimmage with 11 300-pound guys who want to kill you. In Supreme Warrior, you actually get a chance to go up against 12 of the best real martial artists in the world. To me, that's a much more interesting place to be than watching myself represented on a flat screen, flailing away at a cartoon. Sure, it's great to watch the characters in Virtua Fighter 2 because they are beautiful, they are art creations unto themselves, but you'll never get that fear for your life that you get in Supreme Warrior when one of the bodyguards is about to pummel your face. When the interviewer brings up suspension of disbelief, Zito replies with this weird statement about how there are certain emotions you can only feel if something is live action. There are visuals that you can deliver using film that you could never in a computer graphics game. Oh, this aged poorly. At one point, he turns it around on the interviewer and asks, what do you think makes Dark Forces a better game than Doom? That's a fucking wild take. He basically justifies that Star Wars Dark Forces is better than Doom because it reminds him of the movies. Like, they have a guy who sounds just like a stormtrooper in Star Wars saying, You, leave this area immediately. The credit scroll like on the movies, uh, the music's there. They continually remind you that you are in the Star Wars universe. And this adds a lot to the game. There's this bizarre exchange where he describes their upcoming game, Maximum Surge, where the action sequences only let you move in four foot increments forward and backwards because everything is pre-recorded and he doesn't see this as a problem 
We are sacrificing something in order to give you something else. So what if the next camera step forward is four feet? Instead of giving you a camera step of two feet, I'm giving you another target so that you can kill somebody. And you can kill that somebody with a degree of payoff. You see a real person, which you can never even see in Doom. I think that, at least for me, it's a lot easier to feel like I'm making a difference if a real person is actually talking to me in a context that makes sense given what I've just done. Versus, you know, I couldn't give a shit about rescuing Princess Toadstool. That doesn't have any meaning to me. So we're gonna do it? Yeah! yeah. We're gonna do it? Yeah! yeah. What I wanna do is that we gotta do it! This entire interview is beyond the pale. It's no surprise that Digital Pictures and Tom Zito failed the hell out of the industry with such a complete lack of understanding as to what makes video games meaningful or interesting as a medium. FMV games only ever had sporadic success. Many of the better remembered titles are horror games that kind of benefit from that hokey feel it gives them. Others like Harvester use FMV characters in pre-rendered backgrounds to give everything sort of an uncanny mood. There's probably more examples of good FMV games, but the list is slim. They're more novelties than anything. Digital Pictures is long gone and Tom Zito has retired from games now he's just a journalist and photographer. Wife beaters. Okay. Hey, if Make My Video exposed some kid to video editing and kickstarted a new passion, God bless. A ratings board was inevitable, and if Night Trap had to be the game, God bless. And Maximum Surge, well, uh. <laughs> For as much as he talks it up in that interview, it never came out. Uh, but the footage was repurposed into a made-for-TV 2003 movie called Game Over. Oh, yeah. They're coming out of the grave! Oh. Yep. Here comes the daredevil. Thank you.